I won't say won't be difficult, but certainly there is every reason to say that you could launch and see if you could reclaim your home uh, based on exposing the lie. Now, if you want help, I'm sure part of what I'd like to encourage is people to work together to come up with ideas of how to use this knowledge. But right now, I, I can't give you a quote-unquote magic bullet document on how to do it other than to say you absolutely have that power to move forward. Great. Thank you, Frank. All right, we have a caller from Maine. Um, should be unmuted uh, with a question. Go ahead, Maine. Hi, Terry. It's Paula. And that Hi, was Paula. a very great uh, speech about, you know, a lot of stuff I haven't heard about in a long time, I guess. Um, I've been reading about social credit. And, yep. you know, I do believe the, the Federal Reserve and all the corruption behind that system, we need to turn that around so that we don't have, um, we're not paying all this interest on our own value of labor and stuff. So what what do you think about uh, that social credit as far as a trade, you know, trading uh, with each other for services rather than using the money system? That I think it's fantastic. Use. I think it's absolutely fantastic. And while uh, I have been working um, quite quite heavily on an alternate system that uh, uses the property rights that we have established in one heaven to come down uh, to replace the, the Roman system. There's nothing better to kickstart a community and to bring life back into a community when people realise that they convince us to be incompetent. Uh, and let me, let me explain what I mean by that. Say you're living in a community where one in ten people or even even one in three people don't have a job. 200 years ago, 20 people could go and build a home in a few days and a quality home. They could do it in a few days. But they didn't have Walmarts. They didn't have power tools. We have the tools today where literally 50 people could, could remake an entire community if those 50 people worked together. So one of the things that we have to break down, and I'm hoping it will come from people actually sharing knowledge now, is that social credit and barter, where people work together rather than as islands, is, is part of the healing. And in a roundabout way, whether the system realises or not, I don't think the system realises it, I think the system is stupid to this, when they strip everything away from us, they kind of force us to wake up and start working together. And I really hope that happens for you. And if you're having an experience locally, uh, I encourage you and anyone, no matter who's running it, providing it's run by people who are credible, it's a great idea. Excellent. Great. Thank you, Paula. Did you have any other questions or is that it? No, that's it. All right. Thank you, Paula. All right, next, uh, Frank, could you explain a little bit about the background of the uh, canon law and uh, where that has come from and uh, just just a little bit for folks so that they can comprehend the, um, the canon law, that it's not just uh, something that's made up to be accepted. Oh, absolutely. Um, the canon law comes from a study of the present uh, legal system. So within uh, Blacks, uh, America's, Jur America's jurisprudence, um, English case law, uh, and the thousands and thousands of books that are used as reference uh, in their system, amongst the millions of pages, you will find every definition that is located in positive law is there. Not in so few words, believe it or not, <laughs> a few words, but not so few words, and, and, and certainly not structured like that. What happens, to, to understand how this came about, uh, and it's come from hard work, it's come from hard research and effectively uh, um, using ciphers to decode this esoteric knowledge which is embedded. So let me explain what happens. Uh, someone starts uh, their journey as being a lawyer, and they go to law school, and they'll be taught a whole lot of things. They'll go and they'll get the dictionary. Probably they won't get on top of the words because there's a lot of definitions, but they'll, they'll understand some essential stuff. 
they'll go in and they'll they might start as a um, a apprentice public defender, then they might go join a a, a legal firm, they might spend some time as a prosecutor, uh, they might get elected as a district attorney, or they might get uh, kicked up to to being a judge. Now, in that period, they'll have been taught not just what you see in positive law, because that's where it is, it's embedded, but also they'll be taught, which is 90% of what they're taught is the rubbish. So think about um, these, the same mindset that created the ciphers during World War II and World War I, which is embedded amongst uh, a multitude of rubbish is this kernel of truth. Well, what I've done uh, through prayer, through reading, through knowledge, and I guess from what I've learned having created Eucadia that's helped me uh, is deciphered and decoded that to bring it to you and boil it into one document. So what I'm trying to do and what I'm hoping to do is if we want to prove your competence beyond a shadow of a doubt, then normally when you go into a court, there's only one person that has a clue, any clue about the law in a court, and that's the judge. And if you have read positive law from cover to cover three times, then you know more about the real principles of law than a Supreme Court Justice of the District of Columbia. You know more than most judges on the planet. That is the truth. So I hope I've explained that. That, that, was, uh, that was great. Thank you, Frank. All right, just as a reminder for those that are on the phone lines, if you have a question and uh, you would like to ask, press star 8 and it will put you in a queue that I will see and I can unmute you so that you may ask your question. Uh, right now, there's a couple here in the, a couple of questions in the chat. Um, uh, the next question is, uh, uh, is the meeting still uh, happening right now uh, over with the Vatican and the uh, Cardinals? I think so, yes. I, I, I may be misinformed, but I believed that it started well, I believe it starts on the 19th officially, and uh, I assume it goes through for the for the three days over that period. So, um, I said right now, <clears throat> I'm sure a few cardinals are there already, but um, it's the 19th year. So, yeah, it, it's it should be happening right now, or or if not, starting tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. Um, this question regarding your uh, connection with the Vatican and um, where that uh, stems, if you have a, uh, anything that you can share regarding that. Yeah, I mean, look, everyone comes from a different background. Um, my family, uh, I'm the, the black, black, black sheep of the family. <laughs> uh, every family has one. Um, but look, my, my family, um, the family business, I guess, has been uh, priests, for a very, very long time. I mean, the, the Collins, the Coulian, I mean, you can go and look at some of the history there. Uh, apart from what I've written, there's stuff there that's, that's evidence. I mean, the last Bishop King of Ireland was a was a Coulian. And uh, we've had um, priests and nuns and bishops in the family for you know, a thousand plus years um, from, the, from the Christian Roman side. Um, so you know, I grew up having an uncle that was uh, um, Great Uncle Jim, the bishop, who was um, former secretary to Pope John the Twenty Third in the Second Vatican Council, and uh, you know other uncles that were Jesuits and Columbans, and I have an uncle now, uh, uh, Uncle Gerald, who is um, the leading theologian of the Catholic Church for Christology, and he's the second most senior theologian of the Catholic Church next to. Um, his best friend, um, Pope Benedict, who is the leading other leading theologian in the Catholic Church at the moment. Um, so there's all those connections. It, it doesn't it doesn't really give me um, well put it this way. Uh, having written to the Pope doesn't mean that they're going to write back to me anytime soon. <laughs> uh, it doesn't give me any special privilege. It doesn't mean that they respect me any more or less. Uh, put it put this way, the Rothschilds sent one of their own to the gas chambers and the ovens in World War II. So, 
you know, family blood doesn't really mean a lot to these people. Um, does it mean that they read this? Well, may, maybe. May, maybe that affords it. Um, but beyond that, um, it doesn't really help. Um, does it allow people to be mischievous, to say, in spite of everything I've said, that I am somehow, perversely, <laughs> an agent? Well, yeah, I, I've had people, uh, in spite of revealing everything I've done, uh, that is absolutely chopping at the root of the tree. I've actually had people say, oh, he's, he, he's an agent. And you think, well, hold on a second, the guy's chop, helping chop the roots of the rotten tree. But look, you know, as I said to you, there'll be people that, that say that uh, the canon law is a cult. Um, that's just how people are. You know, ignorance is easy. So I hope I answered those questions. They were honest answers, and I hope that answered for you. Yes, uh, thank you. Thank you, Frank. Uh, we have a caller, firefighter, uh, with a question. I'll unmute. Uh, try to get them unmuted. All right, firefighter, you can ask your question. Firefighter, are you there? Yeah, we're not we're not hearing anything there. Sorry. Yeah, not hearing firefighter. All right. Uh, next question we have is: <clears throat> Will there be some form of ID card uh, done by Eucadia, uh, and in a combination with that, uh, would 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 there be a card, a piece of plastic or paper with some uh, photo likeness? Uh, Absolutely. On it? Look, one of the central things I want to make clear, because because this is something that uh, is is uppermost in people's minds, you are not cutting off your nose to spite your face when you give notice of being a trustee of a superior trust. Their whole system runs on trusts. The whole system. Let, let me explain. When, when you know that the first form of law in this system is corporate, what is the corporate? Where does it come from? Now, this is our ignorance, unfortunately, but corporate, a corporation, corporate person or person are just other words to describe what is a trust corpus, otherwise known as a body corporate. In other words, a corporation belongs to a trust. So if there's a corporation, then there's a trust in which it belongs. So everything is trust law. Now, the transition from being a slave with absolutely no rights and everything against you to having superior rights and effectively uh, being responsible for your own good conduct is a gradual transition. Now, we have been working on the deed of trust that you need when you present to go and create a bank account. We've been working on the trust identification We've been working on the lifeborn record and all the elements you need in a practical sense to deal with the existing system in the transition. Now, what uh, we've been exploring at the moment is there are a lot of people that need help and by putting too much emphasis on um, computer systems, we run the risk that uh, we are narrow and, and brittle at the same time, if we're too open, we run the risk that people will do things without absorbing the knowledge. So the short answer is this. We are working towards a situation where there will be uh, community leaders that have access to these tools and help members of their community obtain this, much like the call earlier in Maine we you were talking about setting up bartering or setting up um, um, social credit. So if you, if you desperately need something now, then you can refer to um, uh, Terry or you can refer to others or you can send an email through the system and we'll get it. But right now we've been working on this now for some weeks and it's looking fantastic. But we are trying to do it in a way that, the, that these tools and these identifications can be done at a community level rather than being centrally controlled. Eucadia is not about running a, a live central control system. The knowledge and the law stands for itself, but 
it's just a transition. So I'm sorry it's not